Sir Feroz Khanun was best known as Feroz Khan was a Pakistani politician who served as the seventh Prime Minister of Pakistan from 16 December 1957 until being removed when the President Iskandar Mirza imposed Mashallah. So he himself got ousted in 1958 Pakistani military coup. Noon began practicing law at the district court in Sargotha and later moved to Lahore High Court, establishing his reputation in civil law until 1927. In 1920 Noon entered more national politics and was elected the Punjab Legislative Assembly on the platform of the Unionist Party. During this time, he formed a close acquaintance with Jogandar Nath Singh. From 1927 until 1931, he joined the cabinet of the government of Punjab, Macaulay Halle, and held the portfolio of Provincial Ministry of Local Government until 1930. Between 1931 and 1936, Noon was in the cabinets of government governors Skandar Hayat, Herbert William Emerson, and Montmorency where he held provincial portfolios of ministers of health and education. In the summer 1932, Noon was appointed as an officer of the Venerable Order of St. John in 1933. Noon was knighted in the 1933 New Year's Honours List. He was appointed as Knight Commander of the Order of Indian Empire. In 1937, Coronation Honours List the appointment as Kanite Commander of the Order of the Star of India. In 1936, Noon resigned from his public services in Punjab when he was appointed as High Commission of the United States to the United Kingdom. However, the issue of the Immigration Act of 1924 in the United States, the British government directed Noon to Washington, D.C. He was accompanied by Neville Butler of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office in 1941 to address issues of American exploration in Balochistan and the most forward nation status between the United States and the United Kingdom. In light of the Anglo-American trade agreement signed in 1938, Noon showed great reluctance to grant American petroleum companies access to Balochistan due to the Indian government's difficulty maintaining control in remote areas adjacent to Iran and Afghanistan, especially when Indians were being barred from entering the United States. After the start of the World War II in 1939, Noon Ho had pro-British views, supported British efforts against the Axis powers lobbying for deployment of the British Indian Army in Africa and the Middle East. In 1940, he strongly supported Egyptian plans to establish the Grand Mosque in London. During the height of the anti-British Quit India movement in India, Noon played a crucial role by convincing Prime Minister Churchill to offer of Indian Muslims for continuing British control there. In 1941, Noon left his diplomatic post when he was asked to join the Chelsea cabinet. Being appointed first as his military advisor from the Secretary of State for India of Indian Office on the face of the Indian Army, Khan later joined the Viceroy's Executive Council's cabinet as a Labour Minister and played a crucial role in advising against the independence of India. Without addressing the push of Muhammad Ali Jinnah and other leaders for the Muslim question. In 1945, Church appointed Noon to her department, leading his own department alongside Sir Arcourt Ramsame Mudailer, that provided presentation to British India in the Pacific World Council. In 1945, he was appointed as a permanent representative of India to the United Nations, attending the first UN session in San Francisco, California. In 1940, Noon joined the Muslim League, led by Jinnah. He emerged his faction of the Unionist Party to the Muslim League and garnered public support for the cause of Pakistan amidst opposition from Khizar Hayatiwana, who wanted to remain as Premier of the Indian Punjab. During the 1945 Indian general election, Noon's merging of the Indian Party into the Muslim League played a decisive role. 
the Muslim League won by a landslide in the Punjab. In 1947, Noor retained his constituency and became a member of the National Assembly of Pakistan of the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan following the establishment of Pakistan as a result of the partition of India. In October 1947, Jinnah, no Governor General of Pakistan party known as a special envoy and dispatched him to Saudi Arabia and the Islamic world to introduce Pakistan and explain the reasons for its creation. To familiarize the Muslim countries with its internal problems and to get moral and financial support from the brother countries. Noon performed the role assigned to him in a successful manner. In 1950, Prime Minister Liaquat Ali Khan removed Feroz Noon from the Foreign Ministry, appointing him as the Governor of East Bengal. However, he was less interested in the politics of East Bengal and focused towards the provincial politics of Punjab and Pakistan, contrasted with Mamta Daltana for the post of Chief Minister. He had little interest in strengthening the political program of the Muslim League in Bengal and offered no political action when the popular Bengali language movement took place in 1950-51. On 25 July 1952, he returned to Punjab in Pakistan and left the post of post to Abdul Rahman Siddiqui, returning to his post on 10 November 1952. Noon left Dhaka to become the Chief Minister of Punjab on 26 May 1953. After the 1953 religious raids in Lahore that resulted in Daltana's resignation, Noon finally achieved his goal when he convinced Prime Minister Fajan Azmin to appoint him as the third Chief Minister of Punjab. In 1955, Noon parted from the Muslim League when he helped to establish the Republican Party supporting the cause of one unit program that led the establishment of West and East Wings of Pakistan. He took over the presidency of the Republican Party and joined the coalition of the three-party government composed of the Wami League, the Muslim League, and the Republican Party. That endorsed Iskandar Mirza for the presidency. Noon had been ideologically very close to Mirza and was appointed in the coalition of Cabinet Prime Minister Hussein Shuhravardi. In 1956-57, Noon attempted to hold talks with India over the Kashmir issue and insurgency in eastern India but were unable to make any breakthrough. Prime Minister of Pakistan from 1957 to 58. After the resignation of Army Leagues, Hussain Sayyid Sohrawardi and the Muslim Leagues, I.A. Chandrika, known was the last candidate from three-party coalition government, and started his support for the premiership on conservative Republican Party agenda. Noon successfully forged all alliance with the Awami League, the National Awami Party, and the Krishik Ceramic Party, and the parliamentary groups in the National Assembly that allowed him to form the government as its Prime Minister. On 16 December 1957, Noon took an oath from Chief Justice Mahmoud Nir and formed the coalition government. During this time, Noon entered into complicated but successful negotiations with the Sultanate of Muscat and Oman of a succession of Gwadar, which was taken into the Federation of Pakistan on 8 September 1958 for the price of $3 million US. Noon's ability to get Gwadar into the Federation and settle political issues in the country generally threatened President Mirza or saw him as an obstacle to Mirza obtaining absolute power. Noon tried to obtain the compromise with India regarding the Kashmir problem. In his memories from memory, Noon writes with Gwadar in foreign hands, I had felt we are living in a house in which the back room with another door was occupied by a stranger who could at any time sail us out to power. He mean Gul to Pakistan. The wife of Feroz Khan Noon Vikar Nisa Noon also played a large role in the accession of Gwadar to Pakistan. She visited London in 1950 to see the British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and to lobby the British Parliament for their protector of Muscat and Oman to give custody of poor to Pakistan and get approval for the House of Lords. Noon had now endorsed the presidential re-election of Mirza as the three-party coalition had been negotiating that their own president to replace Mirza in 1958. 
एट मिड नाइट ऑन सेवन एट अक्टूबर नाइनटीन फिफ्टी एट मिर्जा माशा इन आप डिटेल अगेन हिज ओन पार्टीज कॉमेंट इफेक्टिव डिसमिसिंग हिज ओन अपॉइंटेड प्राइम मिनिस्टर टू असरब आल पोलिटिकल पावर इन टू हिज ओन हैंड्स इट वॉज अ स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ मिलिट्री मार्शल लाइन पाकिस्तान बाई प्रेजिडेंट अयूब खान